John, I was, I was, I was just saying that, you know, uh, I, I can't believe what a joy it is to do the show for a live audience. I mean, this is what I did for like 35 years, and then not having it for a year was really weird, but mm -hmm. what I didn't expect was to have forgotten how much it easier it is to do it for people than not for people. Because <laughs> we had to do it for so long. I mean, I guess, how about this? I guess, e I guess easy isn't the word, because you know, it takes energy to throw stuff at the audience, but they give it back, you know? It's a, re it's a relationship, yes. which I really love. Yes, that's and right. I'm just wondering, I'm just wondering for y'all over there, I mean, you're all live performers. What is this like for you to be back in front of a, an audience? Oh my goodness, it's a reciprocal emotional relationship. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> We, we do the show, we do the show with the people. That's what I would say, you know. Yeah. Not just for the people, it's with the people. That's so exactly right. When you get back in, you really remember that. And um, I don't want to go back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, knock one. Knock one. There we go, there we go. Well, I'm happy to be here. Because, you know, you folks, I spent a lot of my time gathering for you the finest, most topical stories about national studies, scientific breakthroughs, and drunk moose breaking into ice cream shops, <laughs> only to have a pandemic hit, during which I take them into a sad, empty little room where my only friends are robot cameras and a Purell bottle. <laughs> and I let myself go while slowly descending into madness as I shove my sweet, innocent little jokes into a segment that I am forced to rename Quarantine While. But sometimes, I crawl out of the broom closet after 15 months, pour myself back into a suit, assemble the top team in the business, the swingingest band in late night, and the best damn audience in the world so I can return to your loving arms in the kick-ass, properly presented celebration of marginal news that is my segment. Substitutes. It's a milestone. It's a milestone for the world. And lo, it hath come to pass. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> in Massachusetts, Michael Packard, a commercial lobster diver, was swallowed whole by a humpback whale. Reminds me of that famous Bible story, Michael Packard, the commercial lobster diver, <laughs> and the whale. Now, the guy is totally okay, and apparently was trapped in the whale's gullet for nearly a minute before being coughed back up. The fact that he tasted bad <laughs> saved his life. That's why I never go swimming without my cilantro shorts. But now that the ordeal is over, Mr. Packard has only one request, that Matt Damon play him in the movie. <laughs> really? Wow. A whole Matt Damon movie about one minute in a whale's mouth. Might seem like a stretch, but Hollywood's already developing Goodwill Humpback <laughs> and Puking Private Ryan. Meanwhile, in celebrity news, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez made out at a steamy PDA packed dinner. Oh my God. It's 2004 all over again. Throw me in a velour tracksuit that says juicy across the butt and vote Carrie Edwards because I'm all in for Benifer. <laughs> this is so exciting. This is like Gili if people had wanted to see it. <laughs> like Some Gili fans here tonight. <laughs> Maybe all of the Gili fans here tonight. <laughs> Meanwhile, because of staffing shortages, the TSA is asking its office workers to help out at checkpoints this summer. Oh, good. Get ready for a full pat down from Brad in accounting. <laughs> Programs already started with the TSA saying that offices have been sending up volunteers throughout the week and they've been accepted to deploy. Deploy? <laughs> Chill out, TSA. <laughs> it's the security line at O'Hare, not Vietnam. 
I'll never forget the look on the man's eyes when I told him he had to take his shoes off. <laughs> we lost a lot of good water bottles that day. <laughs> Meanwhile, big echidna news, because Australian researchers have discovered why only two of the echidna's four penis heads become erect at one time. I'm gonna say you're burying the lead there, science. How can the fact that this little guy is rocking four dongs not be the headline? That's like reporting, Dewey defeats Truman and his four penises, only two of them erect. We'll be right back with Dr. Sanjay Gupta. 